Hi everybody, it's Andy. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! Uh, today's video is just gonna be me making a lot of scrunchies for a French shop and yeah, I've, I've got a lot of uh, fabrics behind me, you can see it and you know, they need to be used and I need to get um, something out from them, uh, you know, um, I didn't buy them for display, I bought them for some reason, but uh, yeah. So today, uh, we're just going to be making a lot of scrunchies. Um, I'm filming, <laughs> recording this intro right after I filmed everything. So, yep. I uh, hope you like this video and uh, if you have any suggestions on, you know, video or content, please comment down below. And I hope you had a wonderful um, holidays with your family. And yes, let's get started. Here you can see me using my electric cutter, cut so many layers. I think there's about 12 layers of this um, fabric and it's just so easy to use this Vivo uh, electric cutter. I have a review video I've uploaded recently so you can check that out if you want to see more about this cutter. And it's so perfect for just straight cutting. and you know so many layers especially if you're a scrunchie maker and that's what you do all the time uh and you cut you know so many layers of fabrics all the time and this is a super great tool for you to use so i have six colors of this gingham soft cotton fabric i have um, beige pink blue red and green so i've got just about two to two and a half meters each of um, each of the colors and I ended up with so many I, I can't believe that just making these scrunchie you can actually get so many um, scrunchies out of one meter approximately 10 just at least 10 so uh, it also depends on the width of your fabric obviously but here I've cut my um, fabric four inches wide to 40 inches long so that you know you get an idea and i'm using eight inches of um eight inches long of uh, an elastic and the width is three fourths of an inch here i'm using my industrial sewing machine that i bought locally from mark middle east they that's the company name and it was inexpensive compared to Juki sewing machines which is very hard to get them here um, yeah so I use this especially for straight lines and just like this project it's super fast and it's just time saving compared to my Janome machine this is way better for just stitching this all straight line so I'm using the method here where you just sew the straight line uh, you just fold it in half and then sew all the way down and then turn it inside out and insert the elastic through so it's it's very easy and i find this easiest to make um like bulk uh or a lot of them but if i'm just using i mean if i'm just making um a small quantity then I use the burrito method which is perfect so after sewing all the tubes I've turned them inside out and had a bit of help from a friend and here I uh, you can see me folding the uh, tube inside uh, just a tiny fold the uh, inside on one end and ironing it flat um, that's because when I um, do the finishing touches when you know you join the two ends together it's just super um, you know super easy to do that instead of having to do it later folding it uh, it's it this way is just easier for me I think but let me know what you guys uh, do with your scrunchies when you do um, a lot of them. How? What's your method? What's 
Do you, do you use the burrito method or this method? I'm not sure what this method is called, but uh, I find this the easiest. See, I'm using my domestic machine, well, semi-professional um, or industrial machine, the Janome one, for this, for closing or, you know, just the final touches of my scrunchie because for some reason, my um, industrial machine just won't work properly. But it works fine when I'm doing straight stitching, like, like fast Um fast uh, stitching but if i'm if i'm uh, stitching just the elastic it's just not doing it right so it, it, you know it's uh, the thread is uh bulking up and it keeps i i have to keep rethreading it and keep checking the bobbin it's a pain in, in the neck <laughs> 
So I'm um, using this one. I'm using Janome uh, Memory Craft 6700P, and my industrial is a local. Um, it's from a local shop in in here in Dubai. It's called Mark Middle East. That's their own brand. <music> Right, so I finished turning all these inside out and I finished the blue color. Um, but I still have the red and beige and yellow to do. So I'm going to do that downstairs while I watch TV. Let's go! Alright, so I am back in the sewing room because I went downstairs to do the, these things. And I've got a lot. Um, I was hoping I could finish all the uh, scrunchies in 24 hours. But I can't because I run out of... Um, and I, I run out of elastic. And I, you know, I just ordered it on Amazon today. It's coming on in a few days because of the holidays. Um... Yeah, so I'll just finish all this. I uh, don't know how many, but I'll try and finish them all. I in each color I've got six colors. Each color has at least twenty, so that's hundred twenty at least. Some have twenty five, some have twenty seven. So it's pretty good. And I've got this bodkin to insert the. Um, elastic okay so I'm just gonna do this for a while
Hi everybody, I don't know what day it is now and I have my little one! Say hi. No? Okay. Um, I'm just finishing up all the scrunchies and I've got some packed already. I'll show you how I pack them at the end of this video. Um, but let me just finish a whole uh, the sewing. Uh, so I used the method where you just um, insert one raw end into the folded end. And that's it. So it turns out like this. Just like that. My tag is Nifty Needle on one side and the other side is Andy the Maker. Because Nifty Needle is my um, company name in Dubai and Andy the Maker is my brand. It's my personal brand. There you go. So I've got all these already made and I also have some in this box already. So let's continue.
Alright guys, I finished everything. So all this and this and also in this box. So I'm going to be packaging them up into this cute organza bag with a tag made with love and a sticker of um, a QR code to my Instagram page. Now, a friend of mine is going to sell them at a market here in Dubai. So I don't know if I'll be selling this online in my shop or I'll just, you know, let her have everything and, you know, she'll just sell them all for me. Um, uh, and yeah, I do have things like that, uh, products like that in different shops. Like another friend of mine has baby clothes um, shop. So I've made a lot of um, baby dresses, baby rompers, and she is selling on my behalf. And it's on consignment um, basis. So only when she gets a sale, then she pays me basically like every end of the month then we'll do our accounting and whatever right so yeah i have this and i also have another consignment from another friend of mine who has um shops uh she has candle shops and i've made eye pillows um for her shop like aromatherapy eye pillows and i could make a video about that um if you if you guys want to see it and uh just you know just comment down below if you want to see that uh and i can teach you it's super easy and it's it's a very good product to make it's it's very helpful i use it and yeah it's just it's just really good it's an eye eye pillow right um so i'm gonna package them individually and in a in a pack of six okay that's with all the colors i only have six colors and this is how I do it. So basically, I have um, craft, like thick craft paper, and then just design uh, this in Canva, canva.com. That's where I design all of my stuff because it's, it's very easy to use. And I have the pro um, account, so I can use anything in, you know, any anything in, in Canva. Um, but it's for free as well uh it's just you have limited options but it's still great right especially if you're only doing these basic things now um i've glued uh inside i used a, a glue gun and just put a hole in it there you go and that's it that's how i'm gonna pack them but i will show you another way to uh like package your Chris crunchy there's so many different ways um where is my other hold on okay i've got it here okay so you can also use an organza bag again for individual packaging like i don't know where i put the other one ah there you go yeah so for example this one so it's only one piece and it's only in a small organza bag. So it's very cute. Um, and look. And it's very inexpensive, uh, this packaging. Organza bags, they're not really expensive. So great. Um, all right. So let me show you the other packaging. Okay, this, I've uh, just a card stock, an A4 card stock. And I just printed this is this is actually a sticker on top of this card stock um because for some reason my printer just like uh it's not it's not great for printing these kinds of things because it's just like smudgy i don't know if that's a word but yeah uh so that's what it looks like and then i just do this and that's basically it how cute is that that is also very cute you could also uh lock it at the back with 
um, probably like a, a cable tie, something like that, so it doesn't fall. But, you know, this is the elastic of this scrunchie has stretched a bit. And yeah, I'll measure it so you guys know. So it's four. Okay, so it's four inches long by three inches wide. And I've clipped the corners using my clipper thingy. Let me show you. A clipper thingy. I just got it on Amazon. It's very, very cheap. Okay. And punched a hole and then got this, um, like, I don't know what it's called, like a hang tag and has this at the end. It's also on Amazon. Right. Um, so we're going to pack everything and see how many we end up with.
Okay, another tip on this planier scrunchies um, is this. These are very inexpensive. This is a tissue holder, kitchen tissue holder. And this is a mug holder. I'm missing two pieces here, but that's okay. Anyway, I just put it like that or like this. Um, also, there's another option, like a, a wooden pegboard. And you can hang your um, scrunchie. So those are the things that I find inexpensive um, ways to display your scrunchies. For example, for uh, at a market or maybe you just want to take pictures of them. Alright, I finished packaging some of them and some are still in here. Still a full basket here. But that's okay. This is the only thing that I'll be sending to my friend's shop for now and see how it goes. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you picked up some good tips from this video and I'll see you again next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you like it. And thank you so much for always supporting my channel. Have a good day and happy new year to everybody and see you all on the next video. Bye, be kind to everyone.